talking about immigration today, what would you like to reduce it to? Uh, back to normal. And normal was what we had from 1950 until the year 2000. And it varied, but between about 20 and 50,000 people a year came and settled in Britain. That was normality for half a century. It was something we lived with, accepted, and led to us having the best levels of integration with ethnic minorities of any country in Europe. What I'm saying is, obsessing with caps doesn't work. What is more important than discussing caps? And by the way, the public are very sceptical about caps, given how all of them appear to fail. What is more important is to explain to the British public that only by getting back control of our borders from Brussels and putting place on Australian-style point system will we get immigration on the right level and with the right kind of people. Immigration has been the number one issue in people's minds over the last few years, and yet, on border controls, we spend a quarter of 1%. It is one of the smallest items of government expenditure. We're proposing a very small increase in that expenditure to make sure we can police our borders properly. But there's this obsession with caps amongst political parties and in the media. I want to talk about policy. I am saying that if we had an Australian-style point system, immigration would not be a problem. It would look like this. Uh, people that came to Britain would have a trade or skill to bring in the, into the country. They would not have a criminal record. They would not have life-threatening diseases. They would have to bring their own medical insurance and they would not qualify for benefits until they'd been here for five years and paid into the system. Now that, I think, is fair to the tens of millions of British people and families who've been paying into the system for years.